Hey everyone, I am doing this pre-recorded cast right before I hop on a plane from Vegas back to Miami. So this is my last pre-recorded. It's going to be all streams next week. But listen, I had to get you this update out of LA. And look, it makes sense that we'd be talking about LA before, as I go from the West Coast to the East Coast, right? It's crazy that LA is so close to Vegas here, right? And I saw so many Californians here. And it's crazy to see the difference in perspective between Californians and people on the East Coast, particularly people in the South, people in Florida, people in Georgia, people in Texas. It is so much of a different mentality. It's crazy how different it is. Um, and one way it's hugely different is regarding masks and the mask requirements, right? I mean, there are still people who are walking around with masks and it's kind of ridiculous when you're here in Nevada uh, and it's 120 degrees outside. Absolutely ridiculous uh, to be wearing a mask in that level of sun. If you think the virus can survive that well, highly unlikely. But here we go. We got some latest update on LA, the sequel, the lockdown sequel and what's happening in uh, LA. We're going to get into it right now. Now we're going to go to the official media page right here under news updates. You see that LA County community transmission of the Rona increases from moderate to substantial reinstating masking indoors for everyone. A thousand new cases, right? And three deaths. Okay. So let's just start with that headline there and break down how that's kind of ridiculous. Number one, you're reinstating masking for everyone indoors. Okay. What happened to the science about getting the Fauci juice? What's the incentive to get the Fauci juice? Why are the people getting the Fauci juice if it's not working, right? Um, what's going on there? Also, once again, why are you looking at cases? Why are you looking at cases? That's something that is part of the testing fallacy. You know, we know that as you test more, right, as you require more tests, you are going to get more cases. You know why there are more cases? Because California has mandatory testing for employment, right? For employment purposes, people are having to go in and get tested. And so they're finding all these positives that were probably people that were already positive, right? That data was already out there. They're just being tested now. Once again, it's a huge testing fallacy. And to say, okay, three deaths, oh, oh, is that supposed to be a lot? Is that a little? I mean, frankly, more people die of that of, in LA than three every day of other causes, right? I mean, there's gun sh more gunshot wounds in LA uh, probably daily than three. You know, I mean, that's still something that's absolutely ridiculous. And now that's a little bit of exaggeration. There weren't that many. Uh, it, well, there was a time in which Chicago was having at least one uh, gunshot death a day. But you get my point. Once again, it's something that there are other causes of death that are likely leading to this and attributing to this as well. So let's get into the article here and see what they have. So right here they say LA County, the transmission goes from moderate to substantial, reinstating masking, yada, yada. And what they go is it's based on the trend in daily new cases. Once again, we're looking at the wrong data. We really should not be looking at that. So they decided to modify masking for everyone, regardless of your Fauci juice status. As you see, more than a seven times increase in number of new cases, right? Because they think that wearing a mask indoors will reduce the chance of getting it. And treat it as an extra layer of protection. When is it effective? It's effective tomorrow. On Saturday, they go back on that lockdown, back masked up for a while, right? And there's no period in which this is going to wear off. They just go in and there's no deadline. Once again, this is the problem. This is the issue, right? And once again, we talked about this, but they're hyping up this Delta variant. They use this, this Delta variant to scare people. Yes, could be more easily spread. That's fine. But is it more deadly? Is it more dangerous? I don't think you've got that data, right? I don't think you have that data. And they're even saying, okay, data affirms that the Fauci juice is protecting people from severe infections. Um, but once again, that's not the issue here, right? That's not the issue here. Um, and they're still pumping. Okay. We're going to talk about the Fauci juice. We're going to talk about the Fauci juice. We're going to talk about the Fauci juice. Um, the big narrative has been that the people that are not getting that juice are conservatives, are Republicans, people out there who voted for Trump, these Trumpers who aren't getting it. Frankly, most people I know, regardless of who they voted for, if they're in a higher risk category, they've probably gotten the voucher juice, right? If they're 60 plus, they've probably gotten it. If they're overweight, they've probably gotten it, right? So I think that risk category is a bigger predictor of who's getting it and who's not getting it. 
A lot of the people I knew haven't gotten it are younger people, healthy people, people who see no reason to get it. Also, how about people who've had it, right? The best immunity is natural immunity. And the CDC has been ignoring widely any data on natural immunity. What's the level of immunity from actually getting it? In fact, that should be the best level of immunity because while the Fauci juice tries to simulate an actual infection, the best thing would be an actual infection. You have to count that, right? You have to count that as part of the numbers, right? A certain number of people have protection because they've had it already. That's a big, big deal. Now, if you step over to my local page, legalmindset.locals.com, uh, we had this discussion and we found this data from LA County. It's so funny, right before this happened, we found this data. Now, this is demographic data. This was my friend, Tony Rango. He submitted this data, but look at this data. This is so important for you to focus on. This is percentage of LA County residents with at least one dose of the vaccine. What do we have here? The highest two groups by demographic group, right here, right at the bottom, right? I don't need to say it, you guys can see it, you guys can see what they are, right? Lowest two groups, and by the way, they use the Latinx. Once again, I've said it, I'll said it again, 90%, and this is, they, they took a poll, 90% of the Hispanic community does not like Latinx. Latina, Latino, or Hispanic. I mean, you can do it any way you want, right? Um, but Latinx is something none of them want. It is literally white liberals forcing these terms on them. White liberals who control LA County. Once again, they're the ones putting out this data. But look here, look at the lowest levels, right? So it's not the Trump supporters, let me put it that way, in LA County. Uh, I think it might be some of the Biden supporters. Um, but once again, these aren't divided by political, so who knows? It could be anybody. But does it look like it's the white supremacists that are not getting the Fauci juice? No, uh, unless they're some really odd supremacists, but or they're blind, right? I mean, that's not what's going on here. So very, very interesting data point there. So as LA promotes the Fauci juice, as they promote this, you got to understand because this is not going to stop. This this is not going to stop. Once again, they're going to try to roll back these laws because we've talked about this. California has absolutely no respect for the law. They have no respect for what's legal. They need to be challenged. These things need to be challenged in a court of law because even under the law that allowed these things to happen in the first place, the Jacobson precedent, we've talked about this case involving smallpox, Jacobson would never allow these circumstances. They've gone on indefinitely. They've gone on forever. There's no science. There's no data. It's arbitrary. It's capricious. It's essentially backed by nothing. And if you look at other jurisdictions, which are not doing what they're doing and just fine, right? The jurisdictions which are similar, maybe not as big as LA, but close, are just perfectly fine. We're here in Vegas. It's perfectly fine. We're in Miami, it's perfectly fine. Yes, they don't have the total population of LA, but they're pretty comparable cities. They're very large cities that are operating just fine without the burdensome mass requirements. Once again, regressing is not going to move us forward. That's not going to help us. And it's not constitutional. You've had your time. You had your time where you were allowed to get away with it, right? Your time where you were allowed to force America in these lockdowns should have been challenged. It wasn't. That's fine. But now that we're past that, anybody trying to roll it back should be challenged in court. These people need to be brought into court, need to be smacked down because it's totally not permissible at this point. At this point, it's a constitutional issue and they need to be brought to court in LA. The government of California, the government of the LA County, they need to be brought to court to challenge these things because at that point, there's no way that they couldn't win. Once again, you can't just arbitrarily bring these things, bring, the, bring these things in, bring them out, bring them in, bring them out. I mean, at what threshold are you balancing out the burden on business? You're not. And the whole thing is this has to be a balancing test. And it's something that the county is not doing. They're not balancing interests. They're saying, oh, three deaths that tested positive with COVID. That's it. We got to shut the whole county down. We're seeing this in other countries too, New Zealand, Australia, where they'll have one death and you know that person will be positive for COVID. That doesn't even mean that that was the primary cause of their death. That just means they had COVID at the time of death. That's ridiculous. That's like saying that somebody had an HIV infection, but they died of a gunshot wound. Well, they died of the gunshot wound. They just happened to have HIV at the time, right? It wasn't the HIV that killed them. It was a gunshot wound, 
We have to be actually rigorously looking at the data and not looking at this in a ridiculous manner, which is exactly what LA County is doing, exactly what California is doing, and exactly what jurisdictions all over the world are going to try to do. So we need to push back aggressively. And if you know somebody who's affected by this, they should reach out. They should find a good lawyer. They should challenge these things because these things cannot stand under the rigor of the U.S. Constitution. Guys, I'll be back for a stream on Monday. I'm extremely excited. I'm talking to Eric Hundley on Monday, Josh from Eat Live Program. It's going to be great. Um, guys, when this comes out, I'll be on a plane, but I wish you all the best. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday. Take care.